And in December, the Major League Soccer Commissioner announced that Las Vegas was the front runner for their 30th team, an expansion team, and now an ownership group has emerged, and they're keying in on Las Vegas. And that could also mean a new stadium here in the Valley, too. Duke doubles the lead for Las Vegas! The appetite for soccer has been on display since the minor league soccer Las Vegas Lights FC came to town in 2018. The environment is going to be the same as we've had in Cashman times 10. <laughs> Joaquin Astorga is a member of the Lights fan club. Lucy Fuerza. The fans are proven this is, this is where we need a, an expansion team. And it's just part of the evolving sports landscape in Las Vegas. It's an evolution. It's what makes us the greatest arena on earth, uh, and it's the next phase of Las Vegas. Commissioner Michael Naft has spoken with the Major League Soccer Commissioner about the expansion to Las Vegas, and also with the potential owners of the new expansion team. Uh, I believe they're the ones who can get this done for us. As first reported by the Review Journal, billionaires Wes Edens and Nassif Sawiris are securing the exclusive rights to own the 30th MLS franchise. The pair also own the Premier League soccer club Aston Villa, and Edens is a co-owner of the defending NBA champion Milwaukee Bucks. Naf said it would be a privately funded venture. There's no request in for public funding for a, a stadium, for the procurement of the team, or for anything else. Uh, so I think it's also important to recognize that a big reason that's possible is because the investment was made uh, from hotel tax dollars into the Allegiant Stadium. And because of that, we've benefited by garnering interest from all these other players. Naf says the expansion team will mean more jobs in the Valley for construction and then event staff. So it's a, it's a wonderful opportunity for our community, I believe. There's an investor out there that's actually seen the potential here, not, not just financially, but the potential to, to grow the sport. And the MLS commissioner said last month, too, that sometime this year it could be made official. However, that 30th expansion team wouldn't begin play before 2023. I'm Drew Andre, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.